Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools, particularly in Microsoft Word. In this video presentation, I will demonstrate how to use or how to prepare table of contents and even using captions and how to insert tables and figures into your document without having to worry on what page they belong, the parts of the document uh, belong, and automatically uh, pages, page numbers will adjust on the table of contents and even on the list of tables and figures that you're going to prepare. So, in preparing the table of contents immediately, without typing it, first, you need to know how to properly use your styles say for example here we normally use heading one two three four up to heading five if you wish to in this presentation i uh, assigned this as heading one if you notice and then this is heading one also anyway you can change the format if you don't like the format and then topic one will be under heading one under topic 1, the learning objectives will be formatted as heading 2. Uh, the presentation of content for topic 1 will also be heading 2. The environment will be heading 3. These are subtopics already of topic 1. File menu, heading 3. If you wish that there are other subtopics within the file menu then you format it as heading 4 okay so uh, and then editing commands is heading 3 uh, feedback okay will be I will change this one into heading 2 because after the presentation of content, it should be feedback with the same alignment. And then, okay, uh, we still have application here, I suppose, yeah. So, heading 2. In the other topics, I did it the same. Okay, this is heading 1. And the learning objectives will be heading 2. The presentation of content is heading 2 and the subtopics under the presentation of contents will be heading 3. If there are uh, subtopics that you would like to emphasize, for example, under character formatting like the methods, you can format it as heading 4. Now, if you have formatted all of this using the styles, we go to page 1 and uh, we go to references table of contents you just choose what format from the built-in uh, templates say for example I will choose this one table of contents automatic table 2 click then here you go the table of contents has been created you notice the those with heading one will follow the original margin setting those with heading two will be indented a little and then those with in, uh, heading three will be indented again okay actually i have heading four here the part where uh, topic five using references tab i indented i used heading for in using the reference tab that's why it's in again indented now since you have created a table of contents using the uh, heading styles or styles i should say actually you can hold down your control key and mouse over or click for, say for example you would like to go to Topic 2, hold down your control key 
and click, then automatically Microsoft Word will bring you to topic 2. That's the beauty of using the styles together with creating the table of contents out of the styles that you have applied in your document. Okay, that's all about creating table of contents. What if we would like to prepare later on the list of tables and figures? Normally in a thesis or in a dissertation or even in annual report, you need to prepare the list of tables and figures that you have in your document. So what we need to do is first we need to insert a caption in every table or in every figure that we uh, have in our document. Say for example, this one. I'll just uh, select this one. I'll click on this, insert caption, and then you notice that automatically there is already figure 1 here. If you don't like figure 1 to appear, you can change the label by choosing from here. Is it an activity? Actually, this activity has been added by me because you can create a new label. Okay, Is it an equation, a figure, or a table? Since this is a figure, then we stick to the figure as the label. Then we just continue uh, typing the caption. I copied a while ago the caption, LibreOffice Writer Environment. I'll click OK. So we have already the figure for this. Let us have another one. This one, insert caption. You notice the figure number has increased. Say, for example, Google Docs Environment. Okay. Click OK. So you have figure 2. And here, insert caption, figure 3. You notice uh, MS Word Environment. Okay, so you have figure 3. Continue, you just continue with your list of fig figures by putting a caption into it. Okay, this is the, say for example, the file menu. Okay, so, and this is the info tab uh, let's stop from this up to figure 5 now say for example that you have tables inserted into it so you can also do the same okay let us uh, just assume that we will create a table here I don't have any table in this document so insert table say for example this is a table and then I'll go to reference, insert caption. This time, instead of using figure as a label, I will use table. By the way, if you notice a while ago, it's figure 4 because there's already figure 5 below. So automatically, the number uh, changes depending on the position of the figure that you're going to insert. So do not, wor do not worry about its positioning, okay? Even if you forgot certain figure and then insert later on and have caption, automatically it will adjust. So let me do this table one, okay? Uh, say for example, file menu tabs, tab, uh, options I should say. For example, this is just an example. Okay, now let's have another figure for example, a table for example, here. Insert table and then I'll have a caption on this table. So notice table 2, say for example, the summary of shortcut 
commands. Okay? So if you are done with all the figures and tables, then you may go uh, just below the, the table of contents. Okay? Say for example, I'll click insert table of figures. Okay, what will you insert? Table first. So when I click table here, click OK, you notice that my list of tables will appear. You just need to put a label here. For the list of figures, you do the same. Okay. You go to this insert table of figures. Okay. And change this one. Caption label. Click OK. Then you have the list of figures that you have created. Okay. Okay. By the way, if you made some adjustments modification into your document and you already have the table of contents the inserted list of tables and figures what you need to do is to update your table of contents how you just right click on this update field okay will you update the page numbers only or the entire table so i will just use page numbers only click ok so you notice that automatically the page numbers will adjust the same is true with this if in case uh, there were adjustments done then do the same say for example i will put this one into the next line i will put this one into the next line so i'll right click on this update field page numbers only or the entire table when you Choose the entire table, even the labels or captions that you have placed, in case you have edited them, will uh, be adjusted. Okay? So, right click, update table. Right click, update field. Okay. So, that's how to adjust. You notice that introduction is now on page 4 because we adjusted the position of the uh, introduction on page 4. So that's how you update your table of contents, list of figures, and list of tables. I hope you learned something new in this presentation. Uh, it will make your work easier because you don't need to type the table of contents, type the list of tables, type the list of figures and when there are modifications done you have to redo and check the page number and so on and so forth so this will really really help you prepare your document especially when you prepare a thesis a dissertation an annual report and other kinds of documents that needs to have the table of contents list of tables and list of figures so thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new in this presentation. God bless everyone.